So far, we haven't considered the design aspect of our panels because we've been focusing on their functioning. Let's now see how to include design in our application. In previous videos, we saw that both back office apps and customer facing apps imply design and usability requirements that introduce the concept of a design system. The design system involves a group of principles, patterns, and practices that convey consistency, uniformity, and robustness of your app. It defines a development cycle that includes both developers and designers. We also saw that the transactions, as well as the web panels that were part of the back office, had a predefined design system. Just like in the case of the back office app, the objects we use in the customer facing part also have a predefined design that Genexus includes there. As opposed to web panels and transaction objects, which had a master page assigned by default, the objects in the front end customer facing do not have an assigned master panel object assigned by default to provide a container to execute the app and include basic design components in the execution. Anyhow, we'll see that the controls abide by design and they're consistent in what concerns their appearance, all of this in a predefined manner. We also saw that it's possible to assign a master panel object to the app's panels. The appearance of controls on screen is considered on the basis defined for the theme object called Carmine SD. Then, one of the sub-themes is used, depending on the platform selected. For example, when generating an Android, we use Carmine Android, for Apple, we use Carmine iOS, and in Angular generation, we take the definitions of the Carmine web theme. We can verify this by opening the platforms node in the KB Explorer. For each platform, we'll see its theme property. For example, for any platform, we can see that the Carmine SD theme has been assigned, while for any Android, the theme assigned is Carmine Android. For any iOS, we'll see the Carmine iOS theme, and for any web, the Carmine web theme. Regarding the components that we mentioned as being part of a design system, in a customer-facing app, we also have a master panel, theme objects, and classes. There isn't one control specific for responsive tables, because the table controls enables the automatic adjustment of contents when a web app is generated with Angular. Unlike the work with pattern for web that generates web panel objects, the work with pattern for customer facing objects does not generate panel objects, but instead one specific object, and it's called work with devices. All the other design system components are represented, besides the fact that the implementation of each varies according to the platform, web or native, and with the generator used, Angular, Android, or Apple. Similarly to what we saw in the design customization for the back office app, in customer facing apps, we may work with the various elements in the design system, classes, themes, controls, and so on, to achieve a design that will enable the best user experience possible. However, the simplest and best way to go about it is for a designer to define all that for us and then import the design into our KB. We'll want to create an initial page with buttons to the different parts of the app, but if we're interested only in viewing the data relative to tourist attractions, we'll need a button to show a list of attractions available to then click on one attraction to see details and a location map. If we ask the designer to send a design for a mobile device in the first place, we'll later be able to generate the app in Angular using the same objects created in the import. In response to our requirement, the designer will create a design with a sketch tool, and then he or she will use a Genexus plugin installed in this tool that allows the creation of a file with extension GX Sketch that we'll receive. Next, what we must do is import it into our KB to integrate all the design components and also create the corresponding Genexus objects to contain the definitions. To import the sketch file sent by the designer, we should go to the Tools, Application Integration, and select Sketch Import.
We uncheck the checkbox called Import as Web Panels because we need to create panel objects and not web panels. If we click on the panels to be created by the import, we'll see a preview where we can verify that they correspond to the design validated. To the right, we have information about the controls it'll contain. We'll see that it also imports images to execute the panel with fixed data and show the attractions loaded, which we'll later have to substitute by those saved in our app's database. Further down, we can see the fonts used in the design. We agree, so we press OK. The output window shows the import's progress and the outcome, free of errors. In KB Explorer, we'll see that two folders were created, namely stencils, with some stencils used to encapsulate design in the app, and test data, which we may open to see that it contains data providers and STT to load fixed data. If we now open the first data provider, we'll see the image load code. And we will see that the panel objects that we saw in the import wizard screen were created automatically, as well as the one in the initial page, view home, and the view attractions. If we take a look at the form of view home, we can see that all components have been created for the visual content, and the same happens with view attractions. Here, we can see that a menu object was also created. It'll be the main object that we want to execute. This object is seen only in the generation for native platform. In the case of Angular, the first object we see is view home, the first option in the menu. For the execution, set this object as startup object, and we'll press F5. Since the design was initially meant for the mobile platform, we select an iPhone X screen size. Later, we'll have to implement the changes necessary to view on a desktop screen. The initial screen is executed with buttons to the various parts of the app. By clicking on Attractions, we can see the popular attractions list and, below that, other attractions that may be visited. We should recall that we have at site the fixed data loaded by the import's data providers. When we click on Louvre, we'll get a page with detailed information within a neatly organized design that is aesthetically agreeable. If we click on Directions, the panel opens up with the details of the Louvre Museum's address and a location map. Now we'll generate the app in Android to see what it looks like with the new design on a mobile platform. To do that, we go to the front end properties and select Generate Angular as True. Since we only want to see the mobile app now, we set the Generate property as False. The menu object was already established as Startup object, so we just go on to press F5. We can see that the emulator opens up and the app is executed on Android with the aesthetic view expected in accordance with the design system defined by the designers. This example has shown the development process for a customer facing application and the significance of teamwork with individuals or varied profiles where each will contribute to the best solution possible. To this point, We've seen fixed data for testing that the designers have added to show the app's behavior with the new design. Now, we'll make some changes to see the actual data from the database. If we go to the View Attractions panel, we'll find that the grid shows the attractions loaded in a variable of the SDT type called View Attractions Grid Attractions Small SDT. In the panel's events, we can see that it's loaded with a data provider. We open it and do a save as and save the new data provider under the name view attractions grid attractions small dp 
BD. We add the from attractions clause and load the attraction image field with the value of the attraction photo attribute to the attraction name field with the attraction name attribute and to attraction location assign the country name attribute. We then delete everything that's not necessary. And now we go back to the view attractions panel and change the data provider that loads the attractions for the new one we just built. We save and enable the generation in Angular again. Now we right click on the main object and select run. When we go to attractions, we can see that we're going over the attractions that were loaded, but now the app has a more adequate design. Without a doubt, when we have a designer at hand in our team, we would never go into the work of modifying classes and properties manually, because importing these definitions from Sketch is a more professional solution for the design, and we can focus on the more functional aspects of the app. To conclude, let's now generate in Android so we can see the final outcome with the database data on the mobile device. In Android, we can also see that the app shows all the attractions from the database and with the new design. The work method where design becomes part of the development activity is applied in the DevOps methodology, which will be shown in videos to come.